Ah, you're watching Soap oh. in the Wire with Femi and Chris. Yes. Thank you to Tommy Eitel, yes, who is a great you. guest. I like that. Good, Christmas yeah. tree. In no way. Do, 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 do. We'll be singing it yes. on Christmas <laughs> Day as we're sitting over our Christmas dinner and, and Chrissy's cutting the turkey and I'm there pulling the crackers in our, our fantasy life together. Did you, you do realise we are married? Yes, it's hard to believe that, isn't it? It's hard to believe how we ever got together. And, um... <laughs> Did you hear that? Well, you, well, you, you said you you said you were a bit sad and desperate, and you had no woman in your life. And I am offering myself up to you. Okay then. Well, that's Is that fine. all right? Yes, that's fine. You're not very choosy, are you, Chris? No, I'm not. I'm easy. <laughs> that's me. Yes, we know that. Yes, we've got Tammy on the line. Hello, Hello Tammy. Tammy. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good. You've got a question for me, haven't you? Yes. I've I've heard. Well, I read in the paper ages ago. Well, a couple of weeks ago, that Ron and Frank were going to have a car accident on. Frank's uh, wedding. Um, Brookside. Ron, uh, Frank is definitely going to have an accident. Mm -mm, because um, Frank is going to that great soap opera in the sky, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> is that Santa Barbara? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's why TV is going to be a presenter. It's entered our presenter of the week. Yes, no. Um, Frank is definitely going to have an accident. Um, I don't know about Ron. I heard it was Tony Dixon, actually. Oh. So um, I don't know about Ron, but Ron's, it, Ron's still in it, I think, because um, Dee Dee comes back next week. Yeah. So there. So stay watching, because it's going to be very sad. OK, then. OK, Tammy. OK. We'll send you a We'll send you a nice soap. Right. This is my friend, you know. Yes, I could tell that. No. I'm related to you. He looks very really much like my friend Nick Hunt. Really? And uh, Nick, I know you're watching, and I know you'll, you'll be going, yeah! But it does, it looks very much like I love cum. the wet effect on the tongue. It lo looks like it's got saliva on its tongue. It's very gross. Oh Beautiful. We won't go on I about that. So. Hello, Raj. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, well, that's good one. Thanks. First time I'm calling on YTV, is it? It is, yeah, I am. Excellent. Whereabouts are you? Preston. Preston? Yes. Oh, hi, Preston. I've got to say, Raj, just got, just got to say a quick hello. Hello to Andy at the BBC in Television Centre. Can I you watch? Anyway, Raj, what's your question? Right, does the Deirdre and Ken Ball, do they, do, 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 do they actually get back together? Sorry? Does Deirdre and Ken Ball in Coronation Street, do they get back together? Well, they're actually filming the Christmas episodes of Coronation Street in a few weeks' time. Oh, yeah. And there is lots coming on. And the Christmas <laughs> Eve edition will um, be um, very, very strong indeed and tie up a lot of loose ends. Um, would you like to see Ken and Deirdre back together? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, because yeah. I think the public reaction to that is that they, they do want to see Ken and Deirdre back together yeah. again. And, and course, I've tried to gain some information about all this yeah. and no one will let me know anything. It's all been done under lock and key. Yeah. So, um, but stay watching because the Christmas Eve edition is going to be very, very explosive. Right. So there you go. Ooh. Thanks. We'll send you a nice soap. Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Thank Thanks you. Raj. Uh, if you'd like to call out Chris's telephone number is 0272 297766. Here's a telephone number. He knows all there is yes. to know about your favourite soaps and your not so favourite soaps and the characters you want in or out. So just to find out what the storyline is going to be like, Chris is here. We'll call you back so it only cost you the initial cost of a phone call. And as you know, on cable we get cheaper phones. We do around. indeed, yes. Time now. And here's another one of my favourite ones. All oh, right, yes. yes. The bold, bold and, and the, the beautiful. beautiful. See you on the other side. Yeah! Oh, poor old Donish. <laughs> yes, I think she sad. wanted Thorn to prick her. You are naughty, aren't you? I'm, I'm here and with... What are you talking about? With, with gutter-brained and gutter mouth, Chris Stacey. We're here to answer your phone calls Actually, and your I've, queries I've, about soap. That's right. I've got to say, now... If you were at home, the lady that phoned in to say this, I just read what's written on my bit of paper. Now, Clayton Norcross did play Thorn, but apparently he's now played by a guy called Jeff Treker. So I'm very sorry, and it's here, get it right, Chris. Get it right, Giles. I'll get you later, Giles. Because I thought you knew everything there wasn't about soaps. I don't know the actors' names. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good. What can I do for you? What's your question? Can you tell me if Dan and 